Today's lesson is time. Now, what is time? Isaac Newton theorized about time. We as humans are only able to perceive relative time, which is why the scientist is unable to tell time since he is unable to put on the watch. We view time in measurements of perceivable objects in motion, like the sun, and from there we determine years, months, days, hours, minutes, and seconds. Let us look at a practical application of time. Absolute time does not depend on physical events, but is a stage on which physical phenomena happen. Therefore, every object has an absolute state of motion relative to absolute time, which means time remains time no matter what. Now, if the scientist starts his work at 6:32:3, then we must assume that. However, with the handy-dandy interdimensional shift device, say goodbye to the laws of physics. Whatever you may need, there's a dimension for that. 